Hey, what is up guys? Toolcare Reviews here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to completely wipe a Max hard drive for selling it to other people. One thing to keep in mind is if there's anything you want on your computer, you should definitely do a backup with Time Machine or some other backup system because everything will be erased and there's no way to go back. So, let's get started. Since I'm on an older operating system and this computer's older, I'm gonna to have to do it to Snow Leopard, so I need a disk. But if you're doing it to say Yosemite or El Capitan, you're just gonna do it online so you don't need a disk at all. So just ignore the step. So, I'm gonna put the disk in. Okay, so now you see here, this is the Mac OS X install DVD. Now what I'm gonna do is just go to the top and restart the Mac. The most important thing is that when it's restarting, when it first turns on, you have to hold Option on older computers and Command R on newer computers. This brings up the option to delete everything and install the new software. So let's do that. I'm going to close this out, go to the top, and hit Restart. Now you're going to restart the computer and I'm going to hold Option because this is an older computer. I'm going to hold it down, doesn't matter when, you can do it before. Now the computer's turning back on, still holding Option. And when it boots back up, it should come up with the drive. The DVD is running, as you can hear. Now, this is the screen that comes up. And you're going to hit Mac OS S install DVD. And you're going to select this. It's going to start to boot back up. There we go. Now the screen has turned completely white. And I'm going to choose English for my main language. Click Next. And it's going to prepare an installation. So before I prepare this installation, I'm going to go up to the top, hit Utilities, and hit Disk Utility right there. And what this allows me to do is delete every file on here. Now once you're in Disk Utility, you're going to go over here, select your hard drive, and then you're going to go over here and click Erase. Now you're going to select this, and it should be Mac OS Extended Journaled, and then you can rename it. I'm just going to name it. Macintosh HD. Now you can go down here to security options. You can completely zero out data. This is what you want to do if you're selling it so no one can get hold of any little data left over. And that's what I'm going to do now. And now you can click erase. It's going to come with a warning. And it's saying erasing a partition deletes all the data on that partition but does not affect other partitions on the same disk which is everything, so it's going to erase everything. Now you click Erase, and you are now deleting everything on your computer. It's going to zero out your disk, as shown here. It's erasing my entire computer here. And now, as you can see, before we had tons of gigabytes, now we only have 447 megabytes. This isn't going to go away because it's just leftover files that make sure your computer runs, so you need that. Now what we're going to do is go to the top and X is out of your disk utility. So now we have the option to install Mac OS X. On newer Macs, instead of this, you're going to see the option to install the newest software via the internet or to install using a Time Machine backup. But since I'm using a disk, this is the only option. So I'm going to click continue. And of course, agree. And we want to select it on the disk we just deleted. So you're going to click install and it's going to install the newest software. When this is done installing, which it says is going to take about 31 minutes, your Mac will be ready to use and look like it was just purchased. So when it finishes, this is what you're going to get on your Mac, and then it's going to automatically restart and redo your booting system. So now the computer is restarting and going to redo the process and install the software. Here we have the start menu. So it successfully downloaded, showing all the languages. Now I'm going to click language, United States. Click continue. Uh, my keyboard is going to be US. And I don't want to transfer any data, but if you do have data you transfer, you can just say from Time Machine Backup, plug in your hard drive and it will transfer all your data from your Mac, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to click continue. I'm going to choose my Wi-Fi network, which is that one right there. And I'm going to type in my password. 
And there we go. Now we can choose to take a picture. Hey, everybody, there I am. Or you can just choose one from the photo library, which I'm going to do. And I will just select cheetah thing or whatever. And just click continue. And my Mac is set up. This is it. And then it just shows you you can back up your computer and what you can do. I'm just going to click go, and it should set up my Mac. There we go. We have the blue screen. It means it's loading. And here we go. We have Mac 10.6.8 installed on our computer. And now I can actually upgrade it to El Capitan or whatever I want to. It just had to be updated through using the disk, but now I'm ready to go. Anyway, thanks for watching my tutorial on how to reset your Mac to factory settings, erase your hard drive, and set it to a software version. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.